Hello, it's Jeanette with GeoMazing Paper Crafts. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join me in my craft closet. Today I have a cute little party favor. One of my favorite things to do are party favors. And this is a little rocking cradle for a baby shower. And um, when I say rocking, I really mean it. It really does rock see and it's so it's just so cute and it's a little bit bigger than a party favor than you know than uh, I'm used to making but you can really put a lot of treats in here and um, I'm making use of the framelits the oval collection and what I'm going to do is I am going to be using that large scallop to make the base for this uh, little rocking baby cradle and what you're going to need first of all is a piece of uh, DSP this one is blushing bride and what I think I'm going to use this time is the pool party uh, because I don't know if it's a girl or a boy that I'm making these for yet so uh, let's get started um, I'm not going to show you uh, you know everything you can decorate this any way you want to I'm just going to show you a few things of what I did to this to make this cute okay so let's get started piece of paper that you're going to need is um, needs to be five inches by five and a half inches and that's going to fit your oval perfectly and you're going to take the oval and you're going to cut it out on your big shot so I did that as a shortcut now you're going to bring in your simply scored scoreboard okay now I don't want you to go crazy but my die is not symmetrical it's not perfectly symmetrical maybe you found that too so don't worry about it it'll be okay what you want to do is just line this up um, as uh, straight as you can because you're going to be needing to make some score lines at the one and a half inch all the way around so as as, as straight as you you know eyeball it as straight as you think you can make it because believe me, you're going to go nuts if you think this is, you know, perfectly symmetrical. It isn't. All right. So I am going to make it at one and a quarter inches. Okay. And I'm going to turn it. All right. And do the same. Trying to make it symmetrical at one and one quarter inch. And you're going to do that all the way around. Okay. Now, I found out that it wasn't symmetrical when I tried to fold this in half, and the scallops did not measure up. So, hopefully you have one that is symmetrical, and you won't have to worry about it lining lining things up. Because it's really not going to line up um, for you. It's this, just the way this oval is. So, if you can do it as straight as you can, um, one and a quarter inch all the way down, okay, you'll be okay. All right, let me take a look at this. Yeah, that's okay. Oh wait, I yeah, I did I did do all of them. All right, now we're gonna just fold and burnish these score lines. Okay. Sorry, don't mean for it to be taking so long to do that, but I just want to fold and burnish and make sure these um, things are folded nicely. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use my bone folder because I do want to make my creases. Um, pretty sharp okay okay now you're going to um, look at this and what you're going to do is you're going to be cutting into uh, these two lines here and these two lines up there just uh, you can cut off the score line if you want to that's what I'm going to do or you can notch just very slightly notch uh, up to that this, this score line here okay but just cut it and very very slightly notch okay this is the way so many boxes are put together but this just happens to be an oval all right and that's how I am going to that now I'm going to be putting some uh, fast fuse adhesive you can use tear and tape if you want to uh, but I'm gonna use some fast fuse and I'm just gonna put some on every corner
It is very sticky, so this should stay together pretty nicely with fast fuse. Okay, and don't worry that your corners aren't uh, completely symmetrical. Like I said, this is not a perfectly symmetrical uh, oval. So I'm going to just fold up the edges like that on all four sides. All right, let me get that a little better. There we go. Okay. And now, when you're done, you have your little basket made. Okay, your little bassinet made here. Okay, now to make the uh, the little rocking uh, uh, mechanism here, I'm going to use some cardstock. Now, I, like I said, this is pool party. What I've done is I've I've uh, stamped out, uh, actually punched out with my scalloped oval punch. Um, I punched out two, uh, and to, just to save some time, I just want to let you know what I did. I just uh, uh, did some stamping on this and this, and what I used was the um, the little flower from the Something for Baby. See right here, and I also used this little tiny ribbon for, from the Something for Baby on here. I also used the Hello Baby. Uh, uh, from the teeny tiny wishes hello baby it's so cute and then i i punched that out with the word window punch okay so um uh, that's kind of easy enough for you to you know to grasp now what you need to do is take some tear and tape okay this is um what i found to be the easiest way to put these uh the little rocker mechanism on here is you just put a piece of tear and tape all the way across the bottom here Okay, tear if you want. I'm going to cut. Okay, and on the other side too. All across the bottom. Feels like I'm all thumbs today. Okay, and now I'm going to take my paper piercing tool and I'm just going to remove the top layer. I think I'm going to remove the top layer of this adhesive. There it is. Okay, and with your... Um, with your scallop that you punched, you want to just kind of look, eyeball it at the halfway mark, and you're going to put that right in the center. Actually, if you look at it this way, it's probably going to be better for you. Let me take this apart real quick. Um, eyeball it this way. Can, I hope you can see that. And just kind of place it right in the center, okay? And do the same for the other side. Um, I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to just eyeball it like this. See how I shake sometimes? It's kind of had too much coffee. <laughs> okay, and now you see how that rocks? Isn't it cute? And it's so easy to do. Okay, so the the way I decorated this uh, this little pink one here. Now I just dropped my my little doily. What did I do with it? Let me grab it. Everything falls on the floor. Um, I just uh, just decorated the inside, and and just uh, I cut this up. Let me show you how I did that. Okay, I have to look because I don't have a very good memory of how I do things. Okay, I took this doily. And if you see this, there's a little cross right here. Um, and then there's the two uh, big kind of scallops next to it. Well, there's a smaller scallop that's there. And what I did is just, I kind of just dipped right in like that. Okay. And then I put some uh, snail adhesive. Now, where did my snail adhesive go? I'll just go ahead and use, oh, here it is. I always lose this thing. Okay, snail adhesive on the bottom here. Okay, be careful. This stuff is sticky. All right. And then um, I just uh, put it on the inside like this. Oh, actually, I think I put the snail on the wrong side. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, put the snail adhesive on the, on the right side. You'll know which one is the right side of this um, because it... Um, you you can see this has got some rough edges on the um, this has smoother edges that's the right side and that's the side you want to show and just kind of let it peek out 
of your um, of your little bassinet here, okay? Just to kind of make it look like there's a little baby blanket on the inside. And of course, since I put this adhesive on the wrong side of this, it's sticking to my fingers, but you get the picture. Now I'm going to do that the same on the other side. I'm going to take the uh, scallops and I'm going to just kind of make a little bit of a, a cut right here. Just to pick up this two small scallops. And then I'm going to put it, put it on the right side of your... And then I'm going to turn this around and I am going to just let it peek out. See? Just a little bit like that. Isn't that cute? Kind of makes it look a little babyish. I don't know. I like this. I really do. Okay. Now, the other the other thing I did is um, I went ahead and I just, you know, cut this out here. But I placed one a little bit higher on this side. Uh, than the other side because I wanted it to have like a little headboard so um, when I put the glue on I didn't um, I didn't push it all the way down I just I wanted it to have this like little headboard sort of and I I let this one kind of go a little higher and the other the other one on the bottom part I just you know cut it and and I placed it a little bit lower Okay, we're doing this on the right side of this, okay. And so now this is just a little bit lower and I don't know if you can see this. A little bit lower. So now it looks like this has got a little headboard here because it's raised up a little bit. Okay, so as far as the decorations, uh, once again, I used the stamp set of something for baby and I use the booties now you have to also know that uh, it does have a uh, framelit die uh, that coordinates with this and if you buy them both uh, as the bundle you can save 15% which was kind of cool and so what I did was I, st I punch I stamped the booties and I cut them out with my big shot and that's what I did for this blue one because I wanted it to be the same and so let's put the booties on the side now you do want to make sure that you put uh, whatever you put on one side put on the other because if you don't then it's what's going to happen is um, it's not going to be balanced it's going to want to lean to one side uh, so if you're going to put a, uh, you know, decorate it, make sure you have the decorations on both sides of this um, here. And so um, it, from my stash, I have this little button, but you can certainly use whatever decorations you want. And I think I'm just going to put the button right here. Okay. And then you see how this now wants to kind of lean this way. That's why I have um, the uh, button and bow that I tied with my little baker's twine. I'll put this right here. And I do have a couple more booties that I want to put on here. Okay, let's see, right. Put one right here. And then I'll put one on the other side. Okay, and I also wanted to mention that um, you really do want to use cardstock on the sides because you need a little bit more um, something a little bit more str with more strength you know uh, sturdiness and the and the DSP isn't as sturdy as the cardstock so you might want to do that and so here's my little my little basket I mean it really doesn't take that long to make and you know it's the cutest little rocking cradles look at fraternal twins isn't that cute? Well, I hope that you try this. If you need any of the supplies that I used in this video, uh, please go to my website at geoamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net uh, and I'll be happy to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one. So, um, this is Jeanette with Geoamazing Paper Crafts and you make it a great day. Bye-bye.